Okay, in this video we're going to look at the left side of the heart to get you oriented. This is a posterior view. This would be the right side of the heart that we looked at earlier. So this would be the right ventricle. Remember here's that sulcus that separates the right and left ventricles. And what we're going to do is first we're going to open up the right I'm sorry, excuse me, left atrium, and then we'll open up the left ventricle. To do that, I'm going to locate what's called a pulmonary vein. There's actually multiple pulmonary veins. This is the site at which they kind of converge. And I'm going to open up that atrium so we can see the left atrium. Okay, so now we're looking down into the left atrium. But we can't really see much, so I'm going to continue opening up the left side of the heart. So I've now opened up fully the left side of the heart. Okay, so now we can fully see the left side of the heart. Here is the left atrium. This is the atrioventricular valve that separates the atrium from the ventricle. This particular AV valve is called the mitral valve or bicuspid valve. You'll note that the, just like the tricuspid valve, the uh, mitral valve is anchored by chordae tendony. And you'll also note that the chordae tendony are anchored by papillary muscles. Let's look at the wall of this lower chamber, the left ventricle. Look at how massive and thick that wall is. The reason why the left side is so thick and massive is where the right side only had to pump blood to the nearby lungs, the left side of the heart is responsible for creating enough blood pressure to push that blood out to the rest of the body, both the upper and lower body. Let's review the layers of the wall of the heart since we can see them um, so clearly on this uh, massive uh, left ventricle wall. This surface layer, remember, is the epicardium. The middle, really large muscular layer is the myocardium. And the inner layer that's kind of shiny is the endocardium. Now that we've opened up both the left and right sides of the heart, we can also point out that there is in fact a wall separating the left side of the heart from the right. This wall here, which separates the right and left ventricle, is called the interventricular septum. And this wall up here that separates the right and left atria is called the interatrial septum. And of course, those septa are very important because they separate the oxygenated blood from the left side of the heart um, and keep, keeps it separate from the deoxygenated blood on the right side of the heart. We're going to finish opening up the left side of the heart by looking for and opening up a great vessel called the aorta. Remember that the great vessels um, arise from the base or superior end of the heart. So I'm going to tilt the heart towards you so, so that you can see the base from a superior view. So you're now looking at a top-down view of the heart, and you'll notice this large opening or lumen here. That's the opening into the aorta. Um, in your body, the aorta is so large that it could be the same diameter as a typical garden hose. So it's a very large vessel that has to withstand a tremendous amount of blood pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove that in fact the aorta does attach to the left side of the heart. What it does is it brings blood away from the left ventricle. So I'm going to put the probe down into the aorta and I'm going to confirm that it attaches to the left ventricle. So here we've got the probe going down into the aorta and you'll notice the tip of the probe does in fact connect with the left ventricle. 
So now to get a better view of the inside of the aorta, I'm going to cut along that probe so that we can open up the aorta. So we've now opened up the aorta. This would be the ascending aorta. So let me point to that. This is the ascending aorta. And you can see here even one of the first branches coming off the aorta. There's a valve between the aorta and the left ventricle. And that valve is right here. You can see a couple of the cusps of that valve. That valve is called the aortic semilunar valve. And it prevents backflow from the aorta back down into the left ventricle. So the left ventricle will pump blood up through this semilunar valve, up into the aorta, and out to the rest of the body. And that's the left side of the heart.